everybody. I'm excited. Today we're doing our first unboxing video. And what better thing to unbox than a helmet? So I ordered this uh, Schubert helmet uh, as a replacement for my Shoei GT Air. And I also have a Scorpion 18950. And uh, this one I've had for about three years. The Shoei I have had for about six years. And so it was time to retire. I really love this helmet. Um, nice and quiet and uh, not too light but not too heavy and it just has treated me really well um, and, and it really lasts quite quite a long time like the cheek pads still feel fresh and good whereas with the Scorpion uh, the cheek pads they, they feel good but they've gone squishy and I'm gonna have to order some, some new pads after three years. Um, the Scorpion is also is a little bit lower end and uh, it's a little bit squeaky and creaky in places, but I really liked the module, uh, the mod modular part of the helmet, um, and especially for touring. And so I wanted something that was modular, that was quiet, that I could go a long distance on, and, uh, and it would just be comfortable. And uh, so I narrowed down my options. Um, unfortunately, in the area where I am, uh, there's not a lot of premium modular helmets available in the stores and so I have to take a risk and order online. And everybody says don't order online unless you've tried it on and it fits your head. I know, I get it, but when there's nothing available, what do you do? So I took a risk. This is a brand new Schubert Z5. All right, cleared the helmets out of the way so I won't knock them off. Um, I still want to use them after. So uh, this is my first unboxing video. I have not had this box open yet, so I'm really excited. It's been very hard to set everything up to do this, and uh, so I'm very excited about it. So let's, let's see what's in here. First things first, little Schubert booklet. Five-year guarantee with registration. Also has a little card for the comm unit. I've been thinking about getting that. We'll see how the helmet goes first. And then a quick start guide in case you don't know how to use a helmet. There you go. Cardboard out. And here it is. Pretty nice bag, the Schubert on it. Ah, there it is. I went with the concrete gray. I thought it looked pretty cool and uh, it will fit multiple bikes. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty sharp. My first reaction, my first reaction is uh, it looks like a premium helmet. It, uh, yeah, it looks very good. I like the gray is a little darker than I thought it would be, but uh, I like it. It looks pretty good. Has the uh, slide actuator for the uh, sun visor. Very smooth face shield. And then of course, the nice part of the shoe berth is this modular part. Very smooth action. Oh, it latches so much easier than my Scorpion. That's really nice. So it has the uh, vent here that blows air up on the face shield. Um, it has this one for direct air into the helmet, which is really nice. Uh, and then it has a two position vent on the top as well. It's got all of these like little uh, turbulence things for better aerodynamics on the screen. I like that it has uh, two tabs to move it up and down. Um, I actually kind of got used to that on my Scorpion and I kind of like that, so I'm glad that this helmet has it. Uh, the question though is, 
will the sun visor drop down enough? And uh, it looks like it's nice and low. So that's great. On my, I tested out a uh, Shoei Neotech 2 and I did not really like it. It, it fit really well, um, but the sun visor doesn't come down far enough and I didn't like that big triangle thing that sticks out the side where their comm unit goes. I uh, just didn't really, uh, didn't really like it. Um, didn't like the shape or the, the feel of it either. So um, yeah, the interior feels very premium. This is a very tight neck roll. Um, so that probably is what makes it so tight. And then it has a ratchet strap. And uh, I have not used a ratchet strap before. Um, so let's see how this works. Oh, and it has a little Velcro thing here too for comfort so that uh, the ratchet strap doesn't pinch. All right, well, enough talking about it. Let's try it on. So the Velcro thing goes like that, and then it cinches on like this. Very comfortable interior. Fits my head fairly well. I'll have to wear it around just to make sure that, uh, that it's good before I go on the road and, and test it out, but um, it fits pretty, pretty good. My Shoei uh, GT Air is a little bit tighter. And uh, so for my head size, I ordered a large in this one, and uh, hopefully that will be okay. Um, I wonder if a medium would have been better, but who knows? Then I'll never know. And the sun visor test, oh yeah, it's down here. Oh yeah, that goes down nice and low. Although it has a little latch on it that apparently you can lock it somewhere, but this is actually just fine. Let's try it down now. That seems nice and tight all around my neck. And uh, so that should be a good, should be nice and quiet anyway. There's no breath guard here, but the, uh, There we go. There's no breath guard on the nose, but uh, it does have the pin lock 120, and so hopefully it won't fog up. All right, well, this is my first impression of the Shoeberth C5. Uh, so well, let's um, try it out around the house and wear it for a bit and make sure I don't want to return it, and, uh, and then we'll take it out on the bike and see how it is outside. Well, I just got back from about a four or five hour ride with a friend, and uh, so what do I think of the Schubert C5? Well, my first um, um, impressions as I got out onto the highway, um, it's really quiet. It's, it's really stable. Um, head checks don't really feel like anything. Um, I was out on my Tiger, and so it does have a windshield, uh, but I stood up on the pegs to kind of get in, in the, the air um, that's not blocked by the windshield, and, and it was also very quiet, um, nice and smooth. Uh, I open up the vents, this top vent uh, flows a lot of air. It's very nice. Um, you can really feel it wrap around your head. Now, uh, it was about 10 degrees uh, Celsius when I, I went out, um, kind of a cloudy day. We even hit some rain as well, um, and uh, everything kind of was, was sealed up very nicely. Uh, this pin lock is fantastic. The, uh, the pin lock 
uh, what is it, the Pinlock 120. Um, it is uh, really nice. You don't see the seams like you do on, uh, on the older pin locks and it just blocked out all of the, the fogging. Um, the, uh, the drop down visor uh, does fog up um, and so uh, fortunately it's a cloudy day and so I didn't need it that much uh, but it does fog up when everything is sealed up tight. Uh, these front vents, uh, this one uh, blows air up onto uh, the shield and, uh, and just kind of indirectly gets some nice airflow into the helmet. Um, I was surprised how much air actually comes uh, into the helmet through that. And then this bottom one uh, just blows air straight into your face. And so I imagine on a hot day, that will be really nice. It actually lets in a lot of air. Um, uh, that, was, that was really quite nice. Um, uh, when, uh, when it was raining out, um, I had everything locked up and it was, it was good, it didn't leak or anything. Um, but I did notice that uh, after it stopped raining and you know it had been dry for a while, I opened up this top vent and it felt like there was a drop of water that got in and blew onto my head. So uh, we'll have to see how that is in, in a more heavy downpour. It wasn't, it wasn't raining too much when I went out. Um, the eye port, um, I feel like it could be, it could have been bigger. I, um, maybe, maybe it's just my, my Scorpion uh, Adventure helmet has a huge eye port. Um, you get used to it, it's not that bad. I just felt like it, it could have been a little bit better. Um, riding around slow speeds with, uh, with the chin bar up um, was actually very nice, very stable. Uh, it doesn't pull too bad on my head and, uh, and it was just very comfortable. There's a few little negatives uh, that I found. Um, one is this uh, vent at the top. Um, uh, with certain turbulence, I could slightly hear it rattling, which I, I really didn't expect in a helmet uh, this, uh, in this price range. Um, just a very, a very slight little rattle. And after a while, I, I, you know, I didn't really notice it anymore, but at first that really kind of stuck out to me. Um, the, this drop down visor is nice. It drops down low enough for me um, and that's, that's really good. Uh, this neck roll seals up very nicely. Um, the helmet is, is nice and warm and uh, especially around here where I live, there's a lot of kind of cool rainy days and, uh, and this, this neck roll uh, sealed everything up very nicely. It was nice and warm. Uh, the ratchet strap is easy to use. I, I've never had a helmet with it. Uh, this is, seems like a really good one. Um, and then these, uh, these little, uh, I don't know what material that is, but uh, it, it's nice and soft and it goes around, protects your chin from, uh, from the ratchet strap. And it's quite comfortable, um, uh, just as much so as, as my showy uh, was. What about fit? Uh, the fit is a, a little bit interesting for me. Um, my, my Shoei GT Air was a very tight kind of race fit. I, uh, I have a, a size medium in that. Um, this is a size large. I, I went off the size chart and, uh, and I'm a 58 centimeter and so this is a 58, 59. Um, and the front back is, is perfect. It's really good. The, the helmet overall is really comfortable. Uh, after five hours, I was still very comfortable in it, no hot spots or anything. But I feel like um, overall, the helmet is a little bit shorter than my Shoei and a, maybe a little bit wider. It's at least a little bit more round inside. Now, apparently you can buy some custom pads. I might have to do that and just kind of fill in a little space up here and maybe a little bit thicker cheek pads uh, would, be, would be just perfect for me. So I'm gonna look into seeing where I can get those, if, if I can get those. Um, and, uh, and hopefully I get the fit just a little bit snugger. It's not loose or anything. It's, it's not shaking around or rattling. I just am used to a little bit more of a, a, a a fit that's a little tighter and maybe that's just because this is a touring helmet um, and, and the showy is uh, is a full face and not uh, not an open face um, but that's just that's just one thing that I noticed 
Otherwise, um, even the, I noticed there's little um, uh, fabric over top of where the speakers are and it just helps isolate noise. It was very comfortable with my ears. Um, I know my, my showy after a number of hours starts to rub on my ears because it's a little bit tighter in the side. Um, so that was nice. Um, my friend actually uh, just bought a Shoeberth C4 Pro. I uh, got it on a kind of a clearance deal. And, uh, and so same size, I was able to try that on and he tried mine on. It's very interesting, the difference in fit. Um, that one, the C4 Pro, feels like it fits kind of on the top of my head. This one feels like it wraps around my head and uh, um, the padding on the C4 Pro is very thick and so it's causing him some problems and, uh, and some hot spots. The padding on this one is actually fairly thin and, uh, and so maybe that's so that you can add thicker padding and get the fit just right. Um, but this fits a lot larger than, uh, than his does. His is a lot tighter. Um, and so uh, I, I think I like that. I, I mean, it's not gonna have pressure points, um, but maybe a little bit more in the cheek pads would just get, get it a little bit uh, more snug for me. Otherwise, it was, it was awesome. Uh, very quiet, very stable, uh, just really comfortable, comfortable helmet. Uh, a great place to spend some time, and I'm really looking forward to putting a lot of miles on this helmet. So, thank you for joining me with this review. Um, make sure to hit like and subscribe and a little notification bell, and uh, you can be up to date with uh, all my videos. Hopefully, we're going to be putting out some more videos on a more consistent basis now that the winter's over and uh, we get to go out and ride. Um, we're going to do that a little bit more. So, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.